Hey guys, so today I am going to do my haul from IMATS New York City, which was April 9th and 10th. I went on the 10th with two of my friends, and yes, so I got a bunch of stuff, and I spent a lot of money I shouldn't have, but that's okay because I really like everything, and I'm glad I got it. Okay, so I'm going to start out with Stila. Stila was there. Um... I did end up getting 40% off, which was the professional discount. There was also the consumer discount for 25% off. So I got this eyeshadow trio, and the color is Champagne Glow. Take this off. They're really pretty. And here are the swatches of those. Those are the three colors. They're really gorgeous. And then I got um, the Casual Eyeliner in Topaz. Which is just a nude eyeliner. And then I also got one of their new um, Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Eyeliners. And I got the color Bora Bora. And it just comes like this. Whoops. It looks like this. And then here are the swatches of those two, right here. This Bora Bora eyeliner is gorgeous. And this stays on forever. I put that on under my um, lash line like two days ago. And I washed my uh, face that night. And the next morning and when I um, went to put on my makeup, the next morning it was still on there, which was awesome. So I'm excited about that because it stays on a really long time. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then I went to Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and I met uh, the Queen of Blending, which is really awesome. She's so pretty. And I'm actually going to put a picture of me, her, and my two friends down there so you guys can see. Her makeup was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I got four things from there. I got one of the loose colors and this color is Wasabi. It's really pretty. And I have a swatch of that. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. And that is right here. It's really pretty. And then I got three lip tars. I got Hoochie, which is like a medium purple. It looks a little more like a blue purple in the camera, but it's really um, more of like a more of a red toned purple. I got Conquest which is basically like concealer nude color. It's kind of ridiculous how light it is. I definitely can't wear it by itself. Even though I am really fair, it's still too fair for me. So I'm going to have to mix it with other things. And then I got anime, which is awesome. It's like such a bright pink. It's really pretty. And here are the swatches of those right here. So this is Hoochie. This is Conquest. And this is anime. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then, um, yeah, that's all I got at OCC. And then um, I was at the Alcone booth, and I got um, two bottles of the Embry Elise Le Creme Concentre, if I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, and this says it's for all skin types, um, and it's just a moisturizer. Um, now, I used this for a couple days, like two days, and I got this like giant <laughs> cystic acne right here. And I haven't gotten a pimple in probably two or three months. So I don't think I'm going to continue using this, but I will put it in my kit for jobs um, if someone needs, you know, moisturizer when I go do a job. So, yes. Um, and then one of my most exciting purchases, I went to Inglot. The line was retarded long for Inglot, um, but l thankfully Sunday when I got there, I was one of the first people in line, so um, I got what I wanted uh, before the line was really crazy. So I got, first I got a 10 pan round palette, and this is part of the Freedom System, and I picked out all these colors myself, and I'll put pictures of these um, palettes down below with um, superimposed numbers on top of each color so you can know what the color really looks like and what number it is. But I'll just show you really quickly. And these are all lipsticks. 
the flavoring on these is kind of like a mix between a flower and some kind of fruit, but I can't really put my finger on it. I really don't know. I really can't tell what the flavor is. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then I got three of the um, 20 pan eyeshadow palettes. So let me show you these. Oh. These pan uh, palettes are not available online. They're only available at shows and in the stores. So if you wanted to get a 20 pan palette, you'd have to go to the store. And I believe the only store in the United States is in New York City. But I may be wrong, but I thought, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, unless they got more stores since the last time I checked. Um, and I'm not sure if you can like call the store and make an order and have them ship it to you so you can get the 20 pan. I don't know. But anyways, I got this palette and I did choose, this is also part of the Freedom System, so I chose all these colors myself. And it's basically just a neutral palette. And again, I'll put pictures down below with all the numbers. And then I got, hello, I got this palette, which is just uh-oh. They're safe. Okay. I got this one. Which is greens, yellows, and reds. It's really pretty. They're safe. Well, that's a testament to how well these hold up. Because it just fell on the floor and none of them broke. So, that's exciting. <laughs> Um, and then I got this one, which is all blue colors. Really pretty. And I have already, like, touched every single one of these eyeshadows, just, like, so I could swatch them and see what they look like. But I haven't used all of them. Obviously. It's like, yeah. So, that's that. And then my last... Oh, no, this was my last purchase. I forgot. I'm not going to go show you each one because they're kind of boring, but I got um, 12 pairs of lashes from Miss Adoro. Um, I'll just show you a couple of those. I got these ones. Got these ones. These ones are pretty. I love these ones. They look gorgeous. Anyways, and I pretty much just got like two of each of those. So that's that. Nothing fancy. I'll put the numbers of the ones I got um, down below anyway, just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, now on to my favorite purchase, or my most exciting purchase. Um, I got Hakuhoda brushes, which I've wanted for a really long time because they're really ridiculously nice quality. Um, just like the most amazingly nice put together brushes ever, like ever made. So <laughs> I really wanted them. Uh, so I got two of them which was a fortune in itself. I got the S146, and both of them are from the Orange Handled Collection. I think it's the S series, but I'm not completely sure. And this one is a very tiny tapered blending brush. If I could compare it to the MAC 224, that is the size difference. So it's like really small. And this is made from Blue Squirrel. And then I got the S102, which I have used several times, so that's why it's dirty. And this is just a big um, powder brush, and it is also made out of blue squirrel. And these are like ridiculous, so they're awesome, amazing. And that's it. So. That is all the stuff I got. Um, I'm going to do a separate review on the Inglot eyeshadow palettes and also the Hakuhoda brushes. If you want to see anything else, just let me know. So that is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.